Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, one question that I get asked very, very often is, are you free to play? So, I wanted to make a video just talking about it because uh, I would like to just have this given as a reference when this question comes up. Uh, during a live stream, I think I spent like 10, 15 minutes explaining different things. So when someone asks me that, the first thing that I want to know is, why are you asking? And the reason that I want to know is because very often a new player that maybe doesn't have any money or they're evaluating the game want to know, okay, we see your roster, we see what you're, you're doing. Do you need to spend money in order to build a roster like yours? and compete at the level you're competing? The answer is no, okay? Now, you can see here that I have the sigil. The sigil did not exist when I started playing. I built my roster by grinding out this game. You're gonna spend something, time or money or both. And I spend the majority time. Uh, in the four plus years that I have been playing, I picked up five offers, never with my own money. I had a couple of fans who uh, donated money in order for me to get an offer. They were not for units. They were always for some uh, SIG stones because that's all that I really cared about. Uh, I had two birthdays, my sister and my best friend gave me um, some money to get an offer. Uh, and this was like years ago, like the first couple of years uh, that I've been playing. So that is my complete history. Less than $100 has been spent, even though it's not my own money, on this game. The sigil, I'm able to uh, get that either by donation. Someone will donate and say, here, get the sigil, or doing surveys. Uh, there's a pine cone research uh, group there, you know, Nielsen ratings. Uh, they don't uh, accept everyone all the time. Uh, so they don't have anything open at the time of this recording. But you might want to check them out. I've been able to get the sigil because of that. And also Google Play Rewards. They will also send you surveys right on your phone, you know, and it's like five, ten cents. You know, whenever they send you a survey, but it adds up. And remember, this is over the course of a month is all you need uh, to get the sigil. So let's talk about the term free to play, first of all. So I've already given you enough information so you'll be able to fit me into one of the groups, depending on how you define free to play. So there is no one definition of free to play. I know. If you have your definition, that's the one that you believe is the correct one, but there is no official definition of free to play. All right, so I'm just gonna, I'm not trying to tell you whether your definition is inaccurate, doesn't matter. Uh, your definition is your definition. And to make, uh, have a, any kind of a good discourse, you need to define your terms. That's why, I'll often ask someone when they ask me, are you free to play? Say, what does that mean to you? Say, well, have you ever spent any money on the game? Yeah. So therefore for them, I'm not free to play. So that's one definition, spending any money. So according to them, if I ever bought a sigil, like if I bought one sigil and then never did anything else, I'm no longer free to play. Okay, that's one definition. Uh, uh, you can also define free to play, uh, based on your status. Like for example, you could say, oh, I used to be, you know, a spender, but now I'm free to play. Meaning you currently don't spend in the game. So that's another way to look at it. Yet again, I'm not trying to tell you whether it's right or wrong. These are just definitions that people are using. And whichever way you want to, you know, refer to me is perfectly fine with me. 
as long as you know one thing. I built my roster with hard work in the game. Let's take a look at my profile here. Do you see the number of PV PvP fights won? I grind the arena. That is how I get all of my units. Uh, that is how I get all of my resources. The sigil, it does help progressing players. If you're a progressing player and you have the sigil, then yes, that helps you progress. So you might not consider a person that has the sigil free to play. That's perfectly fine. Um, but in terms of an impact on my roster and you know pretty much anything as far as my progression, it does not really make a difference. It's a small difference. I'm not saying that there it doesn't make any, but it is so minuscule that it's not really worth using in, in, in any kind of a discussion. But for someone who defines it as if you spend or put any money into the game, they don't want that to be, you know, the free to play label to be used if you have the sigil. That's fine. Um, you can call me cheap to play. Uh, another way to look at free to play is playing for free. Okay, so if you define it that way, then what I do, I play for free. Doesn't mean that I don't spend money. It means I play for free. So I do the surveys, get the credits, buy, you know, redeem them to get iTunes gift card so that I can get, you know, some, uh, you know, sigil because I don't buy the offers uh, and I don't buy units. So basically, I do not spend to progress but spending is going on in the form of this sigil. And the reason that I love the sigil is because of the increased inventory. Yes, you do get some five-star shards and some other things. So it does help in your progression. But when you're at my level, it doesn't really make that big of a difference. But it does make a difference. So if someone says, well, you're not free to play because you have the sigil, I'm good with that. Um, it, it's one of the reasons that I don't call myself free to play, you know, and when someone asks me, are you free to play? I just want to know why you want to know, because if you look here, if you want to know how to do um, what I do, that arena is key. I spend a lot of time playing this game. That is how I'm able to build the roster that I built. Remember, I built my roster before the sigil was even available. Um, I did not, I never bought units and the only offers that I got were usually for Sig Stones. That was it. You know, um, of the five offers that I bought, three were just for Sig Stones. You know, they may have had a, a, a five star crystal in it or something like that. The first two, I don't remember. One was like for $9.99, never for units. Um, when we had the gifting badge, I never owned a gifting badge. Never. Uh, and when it was taken away, I didn't miss it because I never had it. Um, but anyway, so hopefully this will explain to you guys um, the whole free to play thing. So what, which how, whichever way you define free to play is OK, because there is no official definition. So your definition is not wrong. Neither is someone else's definition even if it differs from yours, because there is no official definition. Um, I remember they asked uh, Brian Grant what, you know, how he defined it. Uh, now, if you're not familiar with Brian Grant, he is like the poster child for free to play because he has never spent any money on that account in the game. So for the purists, he is the free to play guy. Well, when they asked him, he said there are different levels of free to play. So that automatically tells you that he does not subscribe to the definition of if you ever spent anything, then you can never call yourself free to play because it's not a very helpful definition. It really isn't. 
Uh, so if you're trying to, most of the people that want to ask, unless you're just curious, but most of the people that ask want to know how they can do what you do. And if you're spending money and they're not able to spend money, then you can't be an example to them. But I can. Whether I have the sigil or not makes no difference in my progression. Uh, so I can be an example and I can give you tips. You know, there's not a whole lot that you would need to do other than spending a crazy amount of time in this game, grinding out that arena, hitting up all the milestones. Uh, just give you an example here. Um, this is the last arena that uh, just happened. All right. Look at what I've done in this arena. Okay. Four star. I've gotten all the milestones. The five star. I put up 18 million. So I got the 2000 five star shards. Okay. Four star. Again, the milestones. The three star arena. Also milestones. And even the two star, I don't go all the way up, but I put up at least 30,000 for those units. That is how I got the units that you see up there, grinding out this arena, doing this, which you see here, every single arena. Add to that, you have the uh, solo, the uh, solo events. So you'll see level up is already on. And I'm already there, but I'm going to probably level someone else up. I usually wait for a skill or, or some advancement so that I can double dip. So for the skill advancement, I leveled up a skill champion so that it counted as, you know, for level up and for the skill advancement. Now, at my level, the skill advancement, their rewards aren't all that great, but I do it every single time because resources are resources. Okay, now that test of the Cavalier, that is from the sigil. Okay, but if you noticed what I did in the arena, you do that all the time. And then, uh, of course, every solo event that comes around, I hit it up and I try to get, if it has units in it, I try to get the units. Let's look at the uh, finished. Okay, so this event quest completion here. One that a lot of people usually don't do. As you can see, I went ahead and did that one as well. I saved up my energy refills so that when it came around, I could do the monthly event quest and start working on it. So I don't rush to do it right away. And this month it was extra because we had a new difficulty. We had the Cavalier difficulty. So... I was able to do that. Science combat, I usually try and get all of those, but not always. Hero use. This one has units. Okay? And you see the score that I put up. Not that. So, you know, science advancement, I didn't really do anything there because I didn't want to use my science stuff. But that's pretty much what I do every single day, whether I'm grinding out the arena because I got done with this arena pretty early, but I hit up all of the uh, solo events every single time. And that's pretty much what you have to do. And the next thing is to get with an alliance that's going to help you grow. Because a lot of resources, when I compare myself to Brian Grant, the biggest difference between us is the alliance. He's in a master level alliance, so he gets a lot of resources from uh, the season rewards. He gets in a lot more six star shards. He opens up more six stars than I can currently. But other than that, I probably grind more than he does, or at least he used to. Um, I think he's getting back into it now. All right. But that's pretty much what you would need to do in order to uh, progress the way that I progress, sigil or not doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, so choose whatever label you like. And hopefully this video will explain some things and give you some tips and show you what kind of things you need to do. The arena um, also gives you battle chips, save them up. And uh, if you want, you can open them up uh, 
you know, when there's a goal boost on or when there's uh, some offer, then you can open them up. OK, uh, but otherwise I would just save them, you know, but that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video uh, again. If you have any questions uh, um, or comments, hit me up on my discord. I'm not going to allow comments on this one because I don't want anyone to really argue about this, to be honest with you. It's only for information. Uh, so comments will be disabled for it. But thank you all for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave. Oh, well, can't leave a comment. <laughs> but take care and you all have a blessed day.